extremely cold this morning, and we know that because the record at BWI for this date is four degrees, and we're only a few degrees off from that. Eight at the airport, eleven downtown, seven in Bel Air, zero right now in Thermont. We're also in the teens all the way down the lower eastern shore. It drops below zero in western Maryland. Now factor in the wind on top of that, which is really only at about 15 miles per hour right now. So it's not that strong of a wind, but it's still causing it to feel like it's well sub zero out into western Maryland. Oakland with slightly stronger winds, 26 below. That is their wind chill right now, but also an impressive number around Baltimore where it feels like seven below at the airport. So this starts to get into the dangerous cold if you're not prepared. You don't want to be stuck out in this without the proper clothing. So just take some extra precautions before you head out and it should make you feel a little bit more comfortable today. Temperatures will reach the upper teens and low 20s by the afternoon. Lots of sunshine today, but yes, even this afternoon it's going to feel like the single digits. Now by tonight we may actually bottom out by evening and then with the southwest wind the temperatures slowly creep back up into the night. So Overnight, temperatures between 14 and 21 degrees. It's going to be uh, very chilly again tomorrow, maybe just not as cold as today. Here's that first batch of cold air and Arctic high pressure sitting over the eastern half. There's another one on the way. You can see the colder air starting to set up again across Canada. That is coming our way later tomorrow, and it may even produce some snow showers. So it's something we're tracking here on the future cast, especially western Maryland and Pennsylvania tomorrow. Even by the morning, could get a, a few more snow showers. Baltimore, it seems to miss out on most of it, but I don't want to rule out some something isolated coming our way. So if you see a few snowflakes tomorrow, it's not out of the question. The cold, though, is something you'll really notice again into the weekend. High 32 tomorrow, then only 24 on Saturday. We start that day again in the single digits. Temperatures may actually get above freezing next week, but will be close enough to spawn a chance for a mix of rain and snow. Keep an eye on that forecast next week.